Hey folks, that fix it guy here. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button, tap that bell icon and get notifications when a new video is coming out. Today, we're going to be pulling out a pop-up assembly and reinstalling that pop-up assembly. I'm not going to be installing a brand new one. I'm actually just going to be taking it out, cleaning it up, and we're going to put some silicone instead of plumber's putty. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to walk you through this and let's get to fixing. So what we're looking at here is this pop-up assembly. It actually moves very easy. And so I noticed that whenever I went to replace the P-trap. And so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you just how to pop this apart. And actually we're going to redo it. I just don't want any issues. And so another thing you can see right over here, right away, they didn't know what they were doing because they didn't even install this correctly. So we're going to go ahead and and we're just gonna end up taking it out. So we'll take that off, just get that out of our way. Go ahead and just loosen that up. Okay, so you can see this right here as well. We're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna have to take this bar off because we're going to have to pull the stopper out. So at the same time that you're turning this, you wanna hold this piece down so you can grab a hold of the stopper up top. So you want to take that piece out. You still have the stopper in your hand. You're just going to go ahead and pull this out and set it aside. You're just going to take this bottom and you're going to push it on up. And as you push that on up, this piece right here is going to be exposed and you can go ahead and remove it. So I'm just going to clean all this off. So this is actually a Glacier Bay faucet. And a lot of times with these plastic type faucets and there's a ton of flex in them, I silicone them. I put 100% silicone right around this top knot right here and then right around this bottom washer right here. So I kind of silicone both sides in. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little Teflon and some pipe dope right here for when I put these two things together on the sink. So first we'll start with this Teflon. Get a little Teflon put on here. Just remember when you're putting Teflon on, you always want to put it on clockwise. Same way it's going to be threading into the pipe. That way it doesn't come off whenever you're going to put it together. Okay, we got that all set up in there. Just a little bit of some mega lock. So what we're going to do, first thing, I just like to go around this. Okay, got that all hooked up. Okay, so then we take this and we just stick it right up in this hole, right like so. Now we go to right there and you've got this sticking up. Just get this on. Get it as tight as you can get it. Get it set down in place. You're gonna hold with one hand, making sure this is in the back, and you're just gonna start tightening this nut up. Kind of pulling down and tightening the nut up. Just keeping everything in place. Once everything's hand tight, just grab a pair of channel locks. These are some 420s. Make sure it's secure. Feels pretty tight there. Looks good. You've got a bead that's going the whole way around it. It's going to keep that nice and in place. You can see that we've got the silicone that's came out all the way around that. Now what I like to do is just take a paper towel and just go right around that. with one and then with two. So get that all off of there. 
it's all already the whole way around it. And then you just let that dry. This silicone is 100% silicone, mold free, supposed to last for 10 years, and it's water ready in 30 minutes. So now you've got that put back together. So we got the stopper here. You're gonna take the stopper, you're gonna put this side in the back and just set it straight down in there. Okay, so now that we have that stopper in place, now we wanna put this rod back in place. So you just grab the rod. Because that was already down, it's kind of already in place. So then we just tighten that down. and the pop-up is ready to go. Okay, so now to put this clip in, you just take it and put it in one side. There's two holes. Find the, the matching hole on this long piece right here, and then just kind of clip it together and put the back side in, and we're good to roll. That ain't going anywhere. All right, folks, so easy enough. Tore out the old one, cleaned it up, siliconed it up, put it back together, give it a little bit of dry time, and it works like a champ. I really hope this video helps. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much and have a great day.